Thanks for checking out SpiderGuy.net. We are today. We're going to go over setting up a Dupia Ridge colony. There are so many ways you can do this, but basically, this is how we're doing it right now. We've got about six boxes and Zorgon. And here is the main feeder of the Dupia Ridges. What's your name? Zach. Zach. He is the best guy at SpiderGuy.net. So. Start with a box with holes in it so they can breathe. You don't want too many holes so that it gets too dry, but you don't want too few holes so that it gets too wet. You don't want the food to rot before you eat it. When you start having thousands and thousands of roaches, they eat it before it goes rotten unless you put tons in. So you gotta find a balance. I'm thinking that this might be too many holes. We drilled these in with a drill. These are for crickets. Crickets need especially dry. So, maybe too much. This is a reused tub. Here is the lid. So, we'll see. This tub's going to have a lot of roaches in it. So, you need something for them to crawl on. So, egg crates. What I do with taking these normal egg crates, these are from an organic thing so that no pesticides or anything on them. And we stack them up so that there is lots of places in there for these roaches to go and hide and play. And go like that. And like that. Stack them in there. Boom. See? And can you give me that one right there? Mr. Zach? Okay, so you throw it like this. You can bend them in half. Throw them in there. So, have them in there. We have an area down here where we put some food. Um, the food area is down here. Um, all right. When we use these, we'll put water crystals on one. Do this right here. Water crystals. We'll put cat food on the other, and we just throw fruit and uh, carrots in the bottom. We found that they like carrots, uh, sweet potatoes sometimes. Um, Oranges, obviously. Apples, eh, pretty good. Bananas. If they have oranges, they're eating oranges first. When they're hungry, they'll eat green peppers. What we do is whatever produce we have kind of left over on the table, we throw in there for them. And usually by the morning, it's gone. Because we've got, like I said, quite a few roaches. So, you start with that. And there you go. And uh, then the next thing you do is you take your roaches. So we got some roaches here that we ordered in to give us some diversity. Uh, do this one. Do that one first? Okay. And really good packaging. You open the box up and they don't just run everywhere. It was nice. So there you go. Roaches. And there they go in. I'm going to keep these pieces of cardboard out because we're going to use them to put things up higher. And um, that's how you do it. We'll give you some finished touch pictures of how everything's set up in the tub uh, at the end of the video. Um, and, but that's how you set up a Dewey Roach Colony. Basically what they need is they need shelter, they need food, and they need warmth if you want them to breed. Um, 85 to 90. 92, 93 is a great temperature for them, and they will be happy as heck. Uh, below 80, they're going to reproduce really slow, and they're going to grow really slow. And if you have a roach colony and you're getting too many, start feeding your females, because they produce a lot, and you only need one male for multiple females. Can I put and that? And there you go. Go ahead and put them in, bubs.